Welcome to the Laughing Christ channel. Every year the church celebrates the solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul on 29th of June. They are the principal pillars of the Catholic Church founded by Christ. Happy Feast Day to you! First, I would like to share with you some facts about these two great saints. And then we end with a prayer to the saints Peter and Paul. Saint Peter was a fisherman. He was one of Jesus' three closest disciples, originally called Simon Barjona. Jesus gave him the name Peter or Cephas in Aramaic meaning rock. When Jesus asked his disciples, Who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. He was chosen by Christ to be his first vicar on earth. He was endowed with powers of the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Peter was a natural leader, but had to overcome an innate impulsiveness, especially through his denial of Jesus. Peter's Primacy Being charged with the role of shepherd of Christ's flock. In Peter and his successors, we can see a visible sign of unity and communion in faith and charity. He wrote two letters. His first letter was written to persecuted Christians in Northern Asia Minor. Attention is centered on Christ's suffering as the basis of Christian salvation and an example of how to live in a hostile environment. In his second letter, through extensive use of the Old Testament, he shows that false teaching has always been and will be a problem for God's people. St. Peter suffered martyrdom under the persecution of Nero. Now the facts about St. Paul. St. Paul was born in Tarsus, in Cilicia, southeastern Turkey. He was a Jewish Pharisee and a Roman citizen. His Jewish name was Saul. His Roman name, Paul. As a Pharisee, he vigorously persecuted the church and supported the killing of Christians. While traveling to Damascus to continue his persecution, he was temporarily blinded as a result of seeing the risen Christ. But almost immediately, God commissioned him through a prophetic message to be a witness of the living Christ, especially to the Gentiles. Paul's experience of the risen Jesus qualified him to be an apostle. He exercised apostolic authority in churches throughout the Roman Emperor. He was an outstanding leader of the early church. He was the leading missionary, evangelist, teacher and theologian of the early church. A prolific contributor to the writings of the New Testament. In his writings, he presents Jesus Christ as the one who was shown to be Son of God by his death and resurrection. As creator and sustainer of the universe, Christ holds absolute supremacy over all things seen and unseen. St. Paul was beheaded in the tree Fontaine. 
Now let us pray to the two saints. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that we may be sustained by the intercession of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, that as through them you gave your church the foundations of a heavenly office, so through them you may help her to eternal salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.